on. Hello, everyone. This is Bill After. It's March Madness. And we are. are you feeling the March Madness? Ta oh, I'm, Taya I'm, Valkyrie? I am excited for it to be spring and then summer. That's what I'm... Oh, you, me too. I'm, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a hot weather person. Um, yes. You are too? Yes, of course. Come By on. the way, um, can I tell them our secret? Are you okay with that? I can What's let them secret? know. <laughs> that, that last night here in Allentown, PA, she was banging my on my hotel room door all night, yes. right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't let her out. I wouldn't let her out. Don't tell anybody. I wouldn't let her out. <laughs> See, it's a joke. If you... <laughs> anyway, welcome to the After Chat. This is your first time here. Yes, I'm excited. So Thank yeah, you for having great me. To see you. So you are currently the uh, Impact Wrestling Knockout Champion. There it is. And yes, you have had a whole series of matches against someone who I call both a great competitor and dear friend. Mm -hmm. You know who I'm talking about. The B word. Yes, Blanchard. <laughs> Tessa Blanchard. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So tell us about uh, some of your experiences wrestling Tessa Blanchard. Uh, I mean, Tessa is obviously one of the best competitors in women's wrestling. The B word. The B word. <laughs> uh, and I'm really uh, happy with uh, and proud of what we accomplished um, in our feud because it had people talking. We brought a, you know a variety of matches to the table, ending in the street fight that was filmed in Mexico City yes, that recently that. aired. Um, and so I'm really, really proud of, of what we we've accomplished and I'm sure that we will uh, be face to face again in the near future and uh, bring it on. You know a lot of people, oh you heard that, bring it on Tessa. So a lot of people don't know your roots. Where did you come out of and how did you get into this great business of pro wrestling? I'm Canadian so I was trained by Lance Storm in Calgary, Alberta at the oh, Storm Wrestling yeah. Academy and then I was living in Mexico for five and a half years. I was trained by Paraguayo Jr., Conan, Silver King, El Apache, Skyde. Did you meet my lucha hero Mil Mascaras? Yes, I do know yes. Mil Mascaras and so I lived there and worked for AAA um, and I, I just started working with them again. I'm the first ever non-Mexican woman to win the Reina the Reina's Women's Championship I heard. I heard. with a 945 day run as champion, wow. which is the longest in history. Wow. Um, and uh, now I'm a two time Reina the Reina's champion as well. So, and then I did Lucha Underground and now I'm on Impact. And uh, now we're just taking over the world, you know? Yeah, you really are. And the, <laughs> the whole, you know, they, they, I credit all the great ladies in this business for doing this. But tell us about, did you ever think the women's movement in pro wrestling and happy women's? Empowerment Day yesterday. Yes, two days ago or whenever yes. that was. Um, I mean, right now I feel like women are gaining momentum in all aspects in life. I don't just think it's only in pro wrestling. Right. I think it's um, but pro wrestling never yeah. really. No, everywhere, everywhere yeah. in entertainment, politically, in the workplace, um, in everything, really. And I think it's a magical time to be in women's wrestling. It's a magical time to be a woman because finally we're being recognized for the potential that we have and um, being acknowledged of, for our hard work and. Um, um, you know, making money, making moves, yeah. and uh, main eventing all these kind of different shows, getting inter into intergender wrestling, and being on a larger platform than we have getting ever. Getting into intergender wrestling. Now, as you know, I don't know if you know this, but I'm the guy who put Andy Kaufman and Jerry Lawler together, and Andy was the original intergender champion. Mm -hmm. uh, our intergender championship wrestling now is, well, there's a lot of that going on in the Indies, isn't there? Yes. There's a lot going on in the Indies. It's also been involved in the Lucha Libre culture in Mexico for many, 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 many years. Um, so when I went to wrestle in the States and everyone thought it was weird that men were wrestling women, I was like, well, have we been doing that forever? Um, and on Lucha Underground, it was displayed in the best way it could have been displayed. And uh, I feel like it's just gaining more and more momentum. I feel like it's something that when done properly and with a good story and in a competitive aspect, I believe it's completely fair. And, uh, you know, we're just two competitors trying to win a battle. So, and you can accept that. If you can Except Superman or fighting woman or Catwoman fighting Wonder Batman, Woman. Wonder Woman, yes. you can accept us women wrestlers Absolutely. taking on men as Absolutely. well. So, so the dream match, you could pick any opponent, male or female. Oh We're, no, yeah. Yeah, who's 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 the uh, well, okay. who who were you wrestling before we get to that then, okay. who were your wrestling idols when you were a fan? Um, well, I'm still a fan. I feel like I all know, wrestlers are fans. <laughs> um, I mean, I wanted to be like Trish Stratus. I, I wanted to. Be, I wanted to be like Lita. Um, I mean, I'm Canadian, so there's Y2J, that whole Y2J yes. era, yes. <laughs> uh, and Bret Hart. I mean, I loved. 
I love the whole attitude era. I like, I mean, I like all the controversy and the drama and all the fun. You know, I just love uh, performers, and I think that those are those performers that really inspired me to be who I am and who the Taya is that you see now. So, who is the uh, the Taya dream opponent? Shinsuke Nakamura. <laughs> oh wow! You heard it right here on the after chat. We'll see if we can hook that up. I love that. I love that. Thank you. Right, Coming what, for you. What, <laughs> what about your entrance? Will be as colorful as his. My entrance is always a colorful. I know it is. You know. I know. So we'll have the battle of the entrances. I love it. All right. Where can people find you on social media? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at the Taya Valkyrie, as well as on Facebook.com/slash Taya Valkyrie. All right. So for Taya Valkyrie, this is Bill Apter, and if you wouldn't mind pointing out. We'll see you. Now, oh, wait a minute. Big pay-per-view coming up. Tell us about your four-way match. Oh, believe. yes. Yeah. Um, at the WrestleCon show for Impact Wrestling, I will be defending this knockout title um, in a four-way versus Rosemary Jordan Grace at Katie Forbes. So I'll see you guys there. Katie Forbes being super trained by Rob Van Dam, you know. She's also one of my very good friends, and I I know her weaknesses. I'm gonna whoop her little butt Dude, or now, big butt, however you want to put it. This could turn <laughs> in, this could turn into a fatal five way because she mentioned intergender, yeah. and as you know, I if hold. Shinsuke wants to show. No, up, no, 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 no. I hold <laughs> I hold the cow title. Cow is championship office wrestling. Oh. Do I have the gold belt? And there's a good possibility that. Are you doing a run in that I don't know about? I may talk to uh, Mr. Nordham and see if. Uh, oh no, Scott Demore, one of them. Yeah. Maybe we'll see uh -oh. you at the matches. We'll, we'll, let's get a contract over here. Yeah, let's sign it right now. So let me get this straight. Your dad is Tully Blanchard, and your stepdad is Magnum TA. Crazy how that worked out. You got a lot to live up to, girl. Look, I got a serious question. Do you think wrestling's fixed? I didn't know it was broken. <laughs>